So what do we do if we haven't got much time or much energy, but we still want to make some kind of progress on our layout? Well, for me at least, it comes down to focusing on the fine details. Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Fairview where I'm going to be focusing just in this particular video on fine details on my layout. I've been quite busy this past month, uh, have really not done any model making at all. I've, I've had a spell working in Germany and had various other family commitments so haven't really been able to have any kind of dedicated time working on the layout. So I thought that it would be a good idea just to get on with one or two little areas of fine detailing here around the North Stanley Street crossing scene so that I can at least say that I've achieved something in the past few weeks. Okay, so as well as that scene that I was just showing you of the burnt out wrecked car, uh, the other thing I've worked on, again, just a sort of a one hour project really, was to take the Ricks products crossbucks, which currently were standing on either side of the grade crossing at North Stanley Street, and just upgrade them a bit shaving off the plastic poles pre-molded uh, with the original product and adding some wooden posts with reflective strips on them cut from very thin strips of plastic card um, adding the standard emergency telephone number signs that seem to be very common on these cross bucks around the USA and then just staining the wood down a bit and really by the time I'd done that job like I say just an hour or so between cutting the various materials to size printing off the signs and things and then planting them back on the layout um, it's made quite a big difference to this scene actually makes things look much nicer. So I think it's important at times when for whatever reason you can't really kind of make progress with the, with the big things on the layout, but it's important to have something like this up your sleeve for the times when you just can't really get on with anything else. In terms of the overall big picture it perhaps doesn't make all that much difference to the layout but at the same time these small little projects adding some details here and some details there well they they do make they, they do give you a sense of satisfaction and they do make more of a difference to the layout than I think we perhaps realize because almost at a, at a subconscious level as your eye sweeps across a scene you appreciate the effort you've put into those details. I should just say as well that I have managed to acquire a few new models in the last few weeks. Um, one advantage of my work trip to Germany was that I found a store, a model hobby shop there in Gießen in Germany where they had a really good range of HO scale vehicles 
and so I was able to pick up quite a few that are going to find homes somewhere on the layout. I was particularly pleased uh, to find these Brekina trucks because they are really lovely detail models but a few other bits and bobs as well which I will dot around the layout. I mean I haven't really even added all the extra detailing parts that come with these trucks and cars yet but already they are splendid little models they'll look great wherever I decide to put them on the layout and uh, yeah that was a real bonus of my time spent in Germany but as well as those vehicles I have picked up two new cars for the layout this month this very nice Athern Genesis Pan Am 50 foot boxcar and then this Walther's um, reefer refrigerated uh, car an older model it's not one of their newer runs but I really like the the livery there it's going to need to be perhaps just detailed a little bit and then at some point hopefully in the not too distant future maybe another of these one hour projects if I stay if things stay quite busy with work well then at least I can maybe just do some basic weathering and some detailing to have these cars ready to do proper revenue service on the layout. So just very quick jobs like this can make quite a big difference once you plant these things onto your layout um, very much a sense of a job well done but I think the other thing that's worth saying at this point is that actually if you haven't got time to do much else on your layout well then play with some trains uh, I have to admit I'm rather guilty of that of sometimes just forgetting actually to enjoy operating the layout itself so for this month's update I think the best thing to do is just to set the camera up in a couple of key positions and we'll have a quick train come into Aspen Grove the industrial park no particular operating plan I haven't got any paperwork or switch lists just have fun for half an hour switching these new cars onto the layout so there we go um, I hope you've enjoyed that very very quick little update such as it is and sharing with you some of my thoughts about ways to keep up my motivation at least I am working on the um, the shift in my operational concept the video that I shared with you last month there's going to be a part two which talks about some of my ideas and the solutions that I'm putting into place um, but that's it for this month so I'll leave you just with these images of the GP42 pushing some cars around wish you happy and successful model making and hope to see you again soon thanks 